Hi, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about wellness today uh, and the initiatives we have going on at our place of work. My name is Amanda Osmer and I'm the fourth generation of Graponis to help operate the Graponi Automotive Group in Bowen, New Hampshire. We've got 300 employees and we do a lot in the way of wellness, so I'd be happy to talk to you about it for a little bit. Um, as the director of HR, to me, I always tell my people that you are my customers and if I take care of you, you'll take care of everything else. So I don't need to micromanage and it all works out pretty well. But I do have quite a list here. I don't want to miss anything, so I apologize for looking up and down a bunch. But the first thing I'd like to talk to you about is um, for our 300 employees, we offer something every month called the Lunch and Learn series. And past uh, topics have included things like nutrition, winterizing your home, cake decorating with one of our employees who used to be a baker, stress management. Uh, we actually had the Shaker Table restaurant come in and do a soup demonstration class for us. That was a very popular one financial management and immune system savvy. So what happens is every month, once a month, we will do two back-to-back -back sessions of about 45 minutes a piece. And uh, we'll just have people come in from different backgrounds, different walks of life, and talk about what their area of expertise is. And uh, we've had really a, a very good response from the employees who are just happy to come bring a bag lunch and sit and learn something for the hour. Um, so uh, in terms of physical wellness, we offer a subsidized Gold's Gym membership. They are right down the road from us on Hall Street. So we have subsidized it so that employees only pay $10 a month. Um, we try to get a gym on site, but I realized pretty quickly that between expense and, um, and other logistical issues that I'd rather leave it to the professionals. So Gold's does a good job at what they do. So we send our employees over there. I think we initially had about 70 people signed up for that. Um, we also offer for anybody who's smoking a cessation program. It's important to us that employees know that they have support from their employer if they're ready to quit smoking. Um, we give up to $500 per employee. We don't really care what type of method you use, although I had to say no to the Wii Fit because <laughs> the guy tried to convince me he was going to gain a whole bunch of weight if he quit smoking. <clears throat> Excuse me, and if I buy him a Wii Fit that he'd be in better shape, which is probably true, but <clears throat> if I buy video games for him, I have to buy them for everyone. So um, more traditional methods include medications, um, acupuncture, the patch, things like that. So we have had several employees quit smoking, and we were able to help them by paying for their, the method they, did, they chose. Uh, we did a health fair last year, which was really successful. We brought in Cigna, who is our provider. We're self-insured. Uh, Cigna came in and did body mass index and uh, blood pressure, cholesterol, things like that. We also had, I think, something like 15 or 20 different vendors. We had free chair, chair massage people. Um, that was very popular. That was actually a line out the door the entire fair, which was a lot of fun. So we've brought one of those uh, Chai Chester chair massage. They come in every month now. And that's actually made possible through a grant through Cigna for our wellness program. They approached me and said that because we do so much in the way of trying to keep people well, they wanted to give us some money. So I said, that's fine. And uh, I spent it pretty quickly on chair massage, which the employees love because, it's, you know, we all tend to slump over our desks and, um, you know, to hold the wrong bad positions all day every day. So it's important that they know that we have at least 10 or 15 minutes of relief for them. Um, so that's going on. We uh, try to bring in some healthy food. In a Pinch Cafe is up the street from us. We have them come by and just walk through the dealerships in the Collision Center and offer, um, offer their fresh food that they make every day, homemade soups, salads, things like that. Um, being in retail, it's very difficult to get away from your desk and actually bring a, get a healthy lunch for yourself. If you haven't brought one from home, uh, we tend to run over to the gas station and buy whatever delectables are available there. So um, knowing that people tend to eat a lot of pizza and fast food and things, because it's quick and cheap and easy, we worked out a deal with Independence to come in and, and offer their food to us because it's much healthier. So, so that's going pretty well. Um, we do also every year in terms of just changing tracks a little bit, $5,000 worth of camp scholarships for employees' children. Um, that's something that I think for the psychological well-being of the parents to get the kids out of the house for a week, that's a good thing. But also, you know, kids who may not otherwise have been able to attend a summer camp, they find it very meaningful. Uh, the best part of it for me is that any kids who are 12 and older, we ask them to come back and tell us about their experience so that they can also build that sense of responsibility of going back to the person who paid for their camp experience and, uh, and sharing what that was like. Um, they are not allowed to bring frogs, but they did one last year, brought a trumpet because he went to, to music camp, and that was a lot of fun. 
Um, we have a wellness committee, which is just really a, a place where everybody can sit down and generate ideas. Some of them are totally off the wall and never going to happen, but um, we've also had some great ideas come out of it. So that's, that's fun to get together every four to six weeks or so. Um, gosh, we got lots of events to celebrate our employees. Uh, summer cookout, we do an annual summer cookout. We have turkey dinners every winter. Hearts Turkey Farm comes and does that for us. And that's a time where we can sit down and eat together, but we can also celebrate uh, people's accomplishments and, and their anniversaries. We actually have, I believe, three staff, three or four staff members who have been with us for more than 40 years. Um, we've got, oh, I don't have the numbers off the top of my head, but more than you can count who've been with us for more than 20 years. It's not uncommon to, to walk around and, and just meet people with that sort of dedication. So that's, that's something to be very proud of, especially in the automotive industry, where we tend to have a high rate of turnover. Um, chili cook-off, that's a good time. We have that every year, and it used to be to celebrate the Patriots, but this year we just ate chili. So um, we did that. We also added in a cookie bake-off, which is a lot of fun. We have uh, whoever wants to submit, I think we had up to 10 or 12 entries, and then we had uh, different employees judge them. So the people who ate the chili didn't look as well as the people who ate all the cookies. But anyway, it was a lot of fun, and we give out cash prizes and other fun things like that. Uh, we like to support employees in what's important to them. Volunteerism is a big deal for us, um, being, uh, as I sometimes refer to us, a big fish in a small pond in the state of New Hampshire. I think the, the, any, kind of, um, any kind of impact you can make has a little more, uh, how do I put it? I guess it's a little more, um, you have to edit this part because I can't remember what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I guess you don't edit on YouTube. The beauty of the internet. Uh, it's, it's more meaningful to people more immediately, I guess I'll put it that way, when you volunteer and you're doing what you love. So we do the United Way Day of Caring every year. We've done several projects up at Shaker Village. We help them to build a bridge. Um, we've done some trail maintenance. And we also do, um, every year, the Capital Area Race Series. Graponi is one of the sponsors. And we also uh, organize our own 5K. I'm the race director for that. So any runners out there, give me a call. Um, so finally, I guess one more thing to say about wellness uh, is just trying to approach business in a lean way. Everybody knows what lean means. It's um, based on the Toyota production system made famous in the 50s by Toyota in Japan. And uh, essentially, it's pretty much the same thing as green because the whole focus is waste elimination. So the end of the day, when you're going green, you're trying to eliminate waste. When you're going lean, you try to eliminate waste. The big difference to me is that under the lean system, the buy-in from the employees makes their, their work and their contributions much more meaningful. Um, that's a big part of it for me. So when we do things like at the Collision Center where we restructure pay to have a profit-sharing model, um, that's not something that Green would ask you to do. But lean, it's, it's built right in because if the employees on the front line who are seeing waste happening, if they're not if they haven't bought into the system to help want to prevent it, then there's really, the system's not going to work. So, so I have a lot more to say about lean in a different, uh, different segment, but in, in general,